You know, George, you know, you tapped on something really interesting. You know, I think a lot of times you see educational leaders who maybe work within their silos and they, you know, a school district has a lot of resources. They have academic and non-academic resources. But I think we're seeing more and more um, a lot of uh, great leaders are beginning to really see value in some of those assets in the community, as, as you talked about. Um, what has prompted this kind of uh, a shift? Is it necessity or is it... Yeah. Something else. Uh, yeah. What what really has happened is that um, the job of a building administrator, specifically a principal, um, has grown to such extent that it can't be done by one person any longer. Um, and the principals who still think that they're the guy or gal on the white horse that rides in and saves the day are usually the ones that fail. Um, the ones who really have success, whether we're talking in urban communities or rural communities, specifically in urban communities, are the ones who have learned the skill of being a good partner and developing good partnership. Mm. Um, and when I went through my leadership training, there was nothing in there about that. It was making the trains run on time. It was yeah. building a master schedule, managing your budget, making sure the kids went to class when they were supposed to go to class, and some work on curriculum and instruction. Today, we build into our leadership prep program a strong emphasis that sort of is a connecting tissue that weaves its way through on what it means to be a good partner. Why does Tim Mulligan and communities in school want to partner with Trexler Middle School or South Mountain Middle School or Central Elementary School or Roosevelt? Why, and, and in many cases, it's because the principal has built a relationship that says, come on in, we're inclusive. We don't want you to do something to us we want you to do something with us mm -hmm. so that we can improve <coughs> the quality. And, and it begins with the principal because, as you know, you've right. worked in places yeah. where the principal has sort of said, not in my house. Um, and so that's what we're trying to understand more deeply. It, it is out of necessity to some extent, but it is also out of good visionary leadership. Um, right. You know, it does take a community to educate a, a, a child. Um, it's not just about what happens from eight until three, it's what happens from five until nine. And, and so the principal needs to be able to reach out and build on those assets that already exist.